Hi everybody, it's summer and as I remember, I usually get really bored in summer. So these are things that you can do in case you're bored. You can go for a walk, you can go for a run, or you can ride your bike. You can also, like if you don't have a bike, you can also go somewhere and rent out one of those little scooter things and just ride those around like they're so fun i highly recommend it going by yourself or going with a friend it's so much fun download one of the apps um these are two that i know of and then just do it it's fun clean out your car my dad just recently had somebody detail my car so i'm about to put all the stuff back and like decorate my car back to how it was before and hopefully keep it decluttered for as long as possible this one's more for people with a little bit long hair if you have short hair you can try to find some, but you can try new out, new not outfits, new hairdos. I, this is like one that I found while I was playing around with like different hairdos because I was trying to find a hairdo and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. So this way, you know, when you want to do something to your hair, you kind of know like what to do. And if you like the way that it looks, you know, take a picture of it and you can have it in your phone. Go through your drawers, organize them, refold them, make them look nice. I know that after a week they get messed up again or like after laundry day I just stuff stuff in sometimes Declutter it too You can try on every piece of clothing that you have And get rid of the stuff that you don't even wear anymore That have no, no value anymore And just, just, you, no, you don't even have to get rid of it Another thing you can do is you can start selling your clothes online Or, you know, if you have a lot of clothes You can make a little yard sale You know, or you could give it to charity as well like just do stuff with your old clothes or you know you can send it back to your home country like your your roots country you know like if you're from el salvador if you're from nigeria different countries just send it over there somehow i don't know churches also if your church doesn't do it there's multiple churches in your area that probably do it or like other organizations that collect clothes so you can do that with your clothes that still look good don't don't give them something that has holes in it like that's just rude another thing you can do is go to the pool walk to a pool if you're close enough over to a pool if it's safe where you're living some of the pool it's summer you know try and enjoy it even if you go by yourself very high chance that nobody will care because everybody's in their own little world and there's probably many people like me who are blind and can't even see you and they're just in the water another thing do your laundry these next few things they require tools in a way bake a cake or cookies or brownies you don't even have to do it from scratch like you can literally go to the store which is another fun activity go to the store um go through like the baking aisle look at all the stuff you can easily just grab a box and like make it you know or look for a recipe to bake or to cook something new write down like the ingredients that you need talk to your parents and if you live by yourself or oh, talk to yourself and find out what ingredients you still need and if you mess up and you end up finding out you're a terrible baker it's your first time trying maybe and if it's not it's okay it's not for everybody but at least you tried just remember make sure that what you're covering it in before you put it on the oven to bake is like aluminum because i knew these girls <laughs> in high school that covered their baking tray with nylon the nylon one and it melted into their cake just don't do that be self-aware about what heat can do to the things you're putting inside of the oven this is if you have makeup if you don't have makeup and you don't want to buy some don't do it just play around i use my sister's makeup too and my mom's I don't really wear makeup, but I love playing around with it and just doing some dumb, annoying, ugly little makeup looks that nobody would even think about wearing in public, but it's for fun, you know? You could also make a TikTok or start your own channel, like your own YouTube channel. I mean, I don't know, figure out a niche or just do something like this, or it doesn't even have to be you talking. You could even do just like questions to ask random people and you just kind of like write it in and people kind of go crazy for those things. Plan your next vacation, plan out your week or plan out the next five years of your life. <laughs> this probably just needs a lot of pen and paper. Try not to do it on your phone because then you might get distracted with like other stuff and then you'll just end up scrolling. Buy a journal, grab a journal, get a sketchbook, whatever. You can do like a vision board too. Print out images and of stuff that you want to do. If like in five years you wanted to have traveled to like Fiji, print out a nice picture and then write like, I want to go to Fiji by the time I turn 20. You know, things like that. Another thing you can do, you know, the typical paint or draw. If you are not very inspired about what you can paint or draw, like if you don't know how to do something off the top of here these are two inspos there's a easy one and there's like a medium one and then here is like the expert one another thing you can do is learn a new language but this one's a little tricky because it's easy to say oh learn a new language but it's like 
download like Duolingo or like Wordlingo or whatever lingo, whatever, I don't know, apps that help you like learn the basics of a language. If you enjoy it and you like it, then you can try and like look for a course or talking to like an online person who speaks that language. And if you have the availability to do that, go for it. I speak Spanish, but I'm not 100% fluent in it. I wish I could, as I wish I was. Another thing you can do, read a book. If you don't have any books, look up books to read on TikTok or take like a like a quiz. What what book fits me or something like that. If you don't even know if you like to read, I don't know, but you can also go to the library and ask one of like the little people walk the little people, the librarians. Ask somebody who's reading a book that looks like interesting and like I don't know, ask them what book you should read. These are books I've read. The Lunar Chronicles is amazing. Um, alternate fairy tale retelling. I, I love these books. You know, like a movie that you watched that you know is based on a book, you could read that. Play-Doh, you know? Go back to when you were a child. And if you're a child, go back to when I was a child and play with Play-Doh, clay, um, kinetic sand. <laughs> My leg hurts so bad. Okay, my leg's falling asleep. Work on a puzzle, color in a coloring book, buy markers and crayons and go or go to the dollar store and get like a coloring book from there. For finals week, I had so much free time. <clears throat> I only had two exams and I had taken them and I still hadn't like, I was just like, whatever. Um, and I literally went to the dollar store and I bought coloring books. I texted my family was like, I'm crazy. I just bought like $12 worth of coloring books and crayons and markers. And it's fun though. I literally spent so much time on like just coloring and it was really fun. Listen to music, <gasps> listen to a podcast. Also, you can listen to podcasts. If you don't know what kind of podcast to look for, you can look up, you know, podcasts to listen for this and that. I have a couple of Christian podcasts that I listen to. I'll link them down below. My phone is 10%. Do an online quiz, you know, BuzzFeed's there. Quizzes. I don't remember. Make your own quiz. And you can also catch up with a friend, either like on the phone, through text, send them like a DM, or like try to meet up with a friend that you had been meaning to meet up with. Um, go to like this video right here and ask yourself or your friends these random questions. I really need to use the bathroom. You can also go to a park. Declutter your phone, okay? Like you probably have a bunch of pictures that you don't even care about. Some random burst that you took by accident. You probably have some apps you don't even use anymore. You can also look for new games to play to play on your phone. I downloaded this game called Wormate. It's so fun. Recommend it. It's kind of like Slither.io. I don't know, download Minecraft from when you were a kid. You know, get some like nostalgia going on. Anyway, these are a bunch of random things that you can do while you're bored during the summer. And I hope that they were useful to you. If you tried any of these things from this video, please let me know put things in the comments it'll help this video go out there thank you so much for watching to this point i love you god bless you have a nice day i hope you're no longer bored bye